from Brixton Brewery. It's that Reliance Pale Ale. I don't know anything. I have actually reviewed one of Brixton Breweries before. Obviously based in London, in Brixton probably. Uh, as you would expect, I suppose. <clears throat> it is. Our Pale Ale raises a glass to the Art Deco Archers of Reliance Arcade, where local cobblers and tailors still practice their crafts with skill and precision. Heritage English Maris Otter Barley provides the clean, crisp backdrop to bright hop flavours. Reliance proves that if you want the real deal, you have to make it by hand. Um, the style is pale ale, obviously. Biscuity malt, pine aromas, good evening all, and citrus flavours. An easy drinking beer for all occasions. 4.2%, an IBU of 40. Got to be honest, not really knowledgeable on the IBU. Something to do with bitterness, I know that. An EBC of 12. What the hell is EBC? Ain't got a clue. And it's served from eight, 5 to 8% centigrade. It's about 10 degrees in it, but the can's colder. So it's probably at the right temperature. Brixtonbrewery.com is their web address. On the bottom, it was canned on 19th of January 21. So for those who... And I know Craig is very... Is very... Um, not just Craig, but others like Craig, who are real craft beer aficionados, look at when it was canned to see how fresh it was. And I understand that. righty -o. See, I'm still learning. Best before date of 19th of the 11th, 2021. So it's interesting. It's only got a 10-month life. If you, you know, if you really stick to dates, that is. I've never really been one for dates, but I do understand that dates mean a thing, you know, to, to at least the full-on craft beer community. And I am learning, you know, every three, three years, I, I'm learning some of it. Well, look, let's be fair, you're always learning. If you aren't learning in life, then, then, yeah. If you aren't learning in life, then you really need to take a step back because you need to learn. Life's about learning. So, when Mr. Bolton Wanderer um, reappears, I'll, I'll go on about... Oh, so it's not a new beer mater. New in Sainsbury's, obviously, but not new. So, Craig, it would be a good idea, mater, um, to possibly... I don't know how you feel about this, but I know you don't do a lot of supermarket beers, but you know, if you re-upload this and put new Sainsbury's beer and uh, even put like old review, but new Sainsbury's beer, then you'll get some seeing double. Why is that? Drunk. Yeah, anyway. Um, let me just put the pop out chat on this screen so I can actually see all the chat. Pissed. Oh, bless you, mate. Bless you. And thank you again for all those beers. So, tomorrow night, we're going to be doing some uh, themed nights. 17th of May, selected supermarket beers. Good. Celebrating. What are you celebrating? How many? Quite a few, actually. Yeah, quite a few. So, I'm actually quite sober now, you know. But yeah, I have quite a few sober days. Yeah. I'm not drinking half as much as what I was, which is probably still more than what you should be drinking. Don't get me wrong. Anyway, so, tomorrow night, it's going to be, we're going to have a Scott. Good evening, Adam, and welcome. So tomorrow night, we're going to have a Scottish night. Scottish Legends Night. And this is thanks to Mr. Bolton Wanderer. So, you know, fair play. Spirit Reviews, next Thursday or Friday. Most likely Friday, mate. Yeah, even though you're a Derby fan. But <laughs> I won't hold that against you. You know, Nottingham Forest and Derby. We've had, a, we've had not had the greatest time this year. You know, whatever rival is. Good evening. 
Or good afternoon in California. I would love to go to California. Disneyland, the original Disneyland. Oh, I'd love to go there. One day, one day maybe. So tomorrow night on the channel, um, we're going to have three Scottish, well, four, maybe four even. Uh, although I better be careful because I've got work the next day. Old Jock Scotch Ale from 8 o'clock. A 6.7% beastie. Innocent Gun. Barrel aged Irish whiskey cider. Good evening. And uh, that is 6.1% um, from Inval. In Veralmond, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and it's their Layer Fail, rich multi amber ale. And this, if memory serves me correctly, old jockstrap, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a beer that uh, is about the King of Scotland. Uh, did I read that right? The celebration stone of the Kings of Scotland. And to that, to me, is amazing you know just because i'm english doesn't mean i can't appreciate the rest of the uk and uh, borders mean nothing to me the beer means everything and then probably to finish it off Cairn gone gold to finish off tomorrow night so that will be tomorrow night um, oof that's for the rest of the week god knows but that's definitely tomorrow night. Definitely tomorrow night. So, it's a mini Burns night, to be fair. Yeah, good choice, yeah. And thank you for sending them. Yeah, very, very, very. Right. All-time non-stout fabs. Oh, brilliant. I love the backstory. The backstory, to me, is as exciting as the beer. You know, from, from my point of view. Anyway, I need to actually get on with this beer, don't I? Let me read it again, because I forgot what it says now. Biscuity malts, piney aromas and citrus, citrus flavours. So we'll see what we get. I'll put it there so you can just see it. That's better. Yeah. I can only see two as well, mate. Yeah. I mean, I can do a bad co evening as well. I like, I like the themed evening. How many Raggy Avenue beers? One. <laughs> one and one only. Yeah. That's this baby I brought today. And me and Bullman definitely have got it. That's a 13.5% Castle Rock Brewery collaboration with Emperor's Brewery. Um... That looks amazing. That is going to be my first, my Virgin StreamYard uh, collab review. No, I've only got the one. No, no. All the rest is something I drink any other day of the week. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably open it wrong again. I broke three beer glasses in the matter of two weeks. I've not broken any since. That's why I built the beer wall, the glass wall. So yeah, um, light amber pour, or could you call it golden? It depends on the light perspective. From one side it looks golden, from the other side it looks amber. Oh, it's deceiving, depends on your light. I've got crap lights, so you know what it's like. On the nose. <sighs> Multi on the nose for definite. <sighs> Multi into citrus on the nose. I tried to stay awake for Blue Nose, Mersey Beers and Bormans chat last night. And I was going to come on and I fell asleep and it was like four in the morning. And the phone was still on. Lie down there. Get there. Talking to the dog, by the way. I'm not talking to anybody on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Lie down. Now. Yeah. yeah. He just looked at me and thought, what are you on about? Go away, old man. 
That's Charlie for you. You don't give monkeys. No. You talk to him and it's like, who are you talking to? Go away. <laughs> no, matey, I don't want you to send me some money. No, no, no. I'm, I'm quite fine, thank you. <laughs> Thought it was the missus. <laughs> I need to watch some of this chat back tomorrow. What's the last review? I haven't got a clue. Not a Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah, I clicked the super chat jobby on the other night. I think I was pissed up, mate, trying to sort out these flipping banners. I know that you said you was going to do one for me. And yeah, you're in bed. Where's the wife? In bed too. Anyway, um, lying down in bed. Yeah, 20 past nine. Quarter past nine. Jesus, you start early. <clears throat> but anyway. <laughs> um, totally throwing me now. Yeah, the super chats. I, uh... Oh, we are getting up at four to watch the Canelo fight. Ah. I've drank it all. <laughs> I've necked it all. It was lovely. Yeah, it was well worth the 85 quid. Getting back to oh, Mersey. Yeah, I was trying to sort that bloody banner thing out the other night. And I clicked enable on lots of different things. Half drunk maybe three quarters drunk and then all of a sudden the other day there was a super chat and I'm there I'm looking at the screen and I thought what's that and it threw me totally threw me and it was a five pound super chat which you know you know for somebody like me uh, it threw me and then tonight Nagan bless his soul he actually did a five pound super chat as well and that threw me as well You know, with what you just said, Mr. Bolton Wonderer, adapting, changing, adapting to the world we are in and changing is critical. What's the next one I'm going to make? What homebrew you mean? Oh, StreamYard offline. I've done my StreamYard test. Yeah, it's, it went round well. If you look at it earlier. No, mate. Anxiety. Stress and anxiety made me lose my hair. Yeah, it made me go grey as well. I suffer with severe anxiety. And, you know, going serious for a second... The Vimto wine, it's nearly finished. Yeah, I ended up putting wine yeast in. Yeah, I bobbed it. Yeah, don't listen to me. Put, go for wine yeast. But I'll tell you about the uh, anxiety. So earlier, I went to Sainsbury's earlier. Awful. Don't forget, this time last year, I was working at... Well, you wouldn't know. You probably might not know. But this time last year, I was working at a hell of a, a, hell all of a place. You know, I won't wish it on my worst mm -hmm. enemy. And uh, there was a character there that was unlike any character that I've ever come across all, in, all my life. And I come from an estate background, so I've met a lot of characters, a lot of dodgy characters, people who've murdered people. And, uh, yeah, this character um, was uh, unusual, in my face, relentless. Good evening, Thomas. But anyway, yeah, today, I was at Sainsbury's today. And I was in the car park. It was pissing down with rain. And there was this bloke, this big bloke, big hefty looking lad. And he was helping this old bloke. And then he ran back in. And as we were walking in, I um, I was behind him. Big bloody lad. You wouldn't think there was anything wrong with him. 
and I just caught sight, he had no mask on, just caught sight of his, of a lanyard, and it, and it says on his landlord, lanyard, I suffer some severe anxiety uh, and can't wear a mask, which is fair play. And I, and I watched him for a second. And in that split second, he had a little bit of a, a, a mini meltdown. And I recognised every single symptom that he had is what I've had at some stage. And, you know, for such a big lad, and he was a big lad, you know, and... Um, you know, I, I sympathise totally with what he's going through and what he, you know, and it, it is awful. It is awful. The strongest of people, the strongest of people can be, once you're hit by it, it's, it is awful. Anyway. Anyway, so, Brixton Brewery. I will get back on the beer. Tangents. I'm used to tangents uh, all the time. If I could remember all the stuff over the years from Sainz, from, from the Arboretum, I've got a workmate who I used to work with, and he remembers. Um, I worked on Nottingham's Park Estate um, for a year. God, that was a year. I reckon it aged me by 10 years. I got there and within a, within a week of being there, I knew, I knew I'd dropped a bollock. But you know how you are? You don't want to go back to your previous job because they see you as a traitor. Yeah, I don't think you should either, Bolton. You know, if you can't wear it, you can't wear it. You shouldn't have to prove it to anyone. It's the ones that blatantly don't give a monkeys that, are, you know, they're the ones that you think to yourself, you know, show some respect. But obviously, visually, none of us can tell what anybody's going through. You know, you can look at me and on air, you know, doing beer reviews and think he comes across as quite a, um, quite a strong, um, opinionated person who, who's really quite out there and all that. And uh, if you met me in real life, I'm actually quite m a bit more, what's the word, muted than I am. When I've had a drink, yeah, <laughs> well, it's different. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen that with that video when I was at that party, when I hated. No, mater, no, no, no. I didn't know anybody who was out there last year, you know. I'd got friends who, who, would, who would, you know, not realise that there was an issue. Friends that we supported in their dark days, and they didn't realise that I was going through dark, really dark times. And they did not. They weren't there for us. Regardless of bloody lockdowns or anything, they weren't there for us. Well, for, certainly for me. And, uh, you know, these things you remember. Obviously, I've got a good sense of humour. And that's coming from the Derby fan. <laughs> yeah, COVID. COVID was, was probably the greatest thing of my life, really. It got me away from a shitty fucking job. Really shitty job. Good evening, Harry. And uh, welcome, matey. Um, yeah, I'm a bit later tonight. The wife's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this time last year, I would not have expected. I didn't even know that the channel was growing. I was doing beer reviews, basically, just to drown my sorrows. And uh, I was doing beer reviews and then necking probably a litre of whiskey on top of the beers. Uh, drinking well in excess of anything. Getting pissed up and falling asleep at eight o'clock every night. Because I couldn't handle anymore. You know, there was too much going on emotionally. Impies out time. Adam, me and you, you know, I love the impies. I could I could drink them all day long. Yeah, starting at about 11 in the morning, not too early. But about 11 in the morning. You just had one beer, Greg. Terrible. 
So, welcome to the people in the background as well. Can't tell how many people was online. I can't see the screen there. I can't see the small writing. <clears throat> Bless you. Thing is, with Imperial Stouts. <laughs> Thing is, with Imperial Stouts, I, they, they are a beer that I can drink, and they don't get me absolutely bladdered. Whereas some beers get you bladdered quicker. Yeah. When I do some home brews as well, juice wines, I have a different, slightly different, good evening, Phil. I have a slightly different uh, way to Harry. Harry's a head brewer at Ramsbury Brewery, so he obviously knows how to brew better than I am, obviously. But I have a, a different way of brewing. I go with a much cheaper route. I'm not pissed. Merry, but not pissed. No. no, not yet. Might be on the next beer. Though. I need to go. I need to go heavy next beer, but not too heavy because me and me and Mr. Borman need to do that Emperor's Brewery one together. Yeah, collab. Yeah, I need to do. I need to do a quick collab check to see that collabs work, like a test, a test collab with somebody. And uh, I need a guinea pig, and uh, a test collab with somebody. And then do a full collab. <laughs> yeah, I might be pissed. Yeah, yeah. Depends what I've had before, to be fair. What's that? How is he's Dragon Soup's UK salesman all day long? Not sure where you came or when. <laughs> so 22 minutes in. Bloody hell, yakking again. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> so yeah um, amber looking poor hey that'd be good and if you've got a good phone we can do it we can do a, a stream yard I need to do a stream yard test just to make sure that the lagginess isn't an issue and the comments and stuff like that siren crystal cove so it's got to be a Sainsbury's beer because we're on Sainsbury's now. Let me take the can off the thing. So we've got the Siren, two McKellars. I've done a McKellar already. I don't fancy doing another McKellar. Hiver, Salt, Two Al. That's how you pronounce it. I ain't got a clue. Uh, and then the Summer Ale. I think that's them all. I could have sworn there was more earlier. Oh, I've drank four, haven't I? Cow juice wine, jobs are good. In. Which siren is that? I reckon it's the same one in a, in, in a different name than what Asda are doing. Oh, I'll make a lot of different wines. Anxiety now. I get anxiety in the legs. My legs are boiling. Would you? I was going to scalp myself. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah. I was holding the baby for two hours. So, my grandson. So, that kind of killed the scalping off. Daughter came round, dropped baby off and went shopping. And it's like, yeah, cheers. Thanks. Thanks, daughter. Yeah. Yeah, I find that with StreamYard. That's why I want to do um, a test with you first. Recipes would be interesting. I reckon it's the same one as well. Yeah, in a different name. I'll, I might do the T O O L job here, because that's different. Yeah, Charlie's not come further in there. I think he's had his bollocking. He's doing well. So, yeah, Brixton Brewery. One does apologise. Um, Yakin, as usual. Uh, there we go. You can just about see it. Flipping camera angles. There we go. Um, 37 people watching and thank you all. It is half past nine at night. Uh, the wife would be giving me a bollocking, but she's still doing a cake, so I might get away with it tonight. And as long as I don't walk up the house pissed up, I'll be fine. Hey, you're welcome to come to the shed, mater. 
you're welcome. The beer room, or the tap room as you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the wife to drive you over, have a beer, jewel with you, I'll set the camera up. Jobs are good and May the 17th, you're allowed to. Well, you're allowed to whenever you bloody like, really, but you know. Well, she's old tail. It's lovely, isn't it? What different beers around the country. I do love it. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? And Tad actually came out with something interesting earlier with StreamYard. And with the community, obviously there's other beer reviewers. We know there's other beer reviewers, some great people out there. But with the community as well, community getting on with beer reviews. For everybody who's a home brewer, especially, because I think that's the interesting aspect, is actually reviewing, dual reviewing their beers, seeing what they get and interaction. That to me is the pinnacle of um, community. Well, yeah, because home brewers are very critical of their own beers, you know. Um, I mean, I brewed some beers. My mates come round and they say, your beer's shit, fucking disgusting. And you're like, you think, eh, bastard. Eh, pardon my French. And then I had a mate who came over and uh, I had brewed St. Peter's Honey Porter. And uh, he was in my guard and he was drinking it and he's like, uh, oh, that's nice. And I says, it's St. Peter's Honey Porter. And he's like, can I have another one? And, it, and we were necking back the St. Peter's. It was amazing. That's why I've got St. Peter's uh, Cream Stout. I'm looking forward to the beer festival in October. I'm also looking forward to Nottingham's Craft Beer Festival in August as well. Uh, not many tickets left for that. Thank you, Mr. Seaside Cloud. Yeah. I just wanted people, I wanted to see what people, it was a test really. And luckily enough, some people came on quite quickly. Um, you know, because obviously it's a test. I'm not reviewing anything. I'm just basically talking to the camera and just seeing about, um, yeah. Oh, homebrew is amazing to me. You know, home beer wine. Pubs are expensive though. The one thing I don't like about pubs is the idiots. I, I know, I tend to stay away from any of that. Tate and Lyle Golden Syrup with Old Speckled Down. That's different. No, I didn't, no. I bought it years ago from America. And I think it was back in either... It wouldn't be in 2013. It was probably back in 2009 when I went across. And, uh, yeah. And I've had it since then. And it's still a good jacket, you know. Still quite a nice, fashionable jacket. Which is quite surprising these days. Because fashion's changed so much. We've gone virtual. That's sad, isn't it? By October or November, we should be out of this. Um, I don't think masks will disappear anytime soon, especially in the winter months. But I do think that um, we should be, Britain at least, should be quite well covered. You would think, you know, pray to God, touch wood, because we don't want to go for another bloody lockdown again. We com these companies can't afford to. But if there was another lockdown... If there was another lockdown, you know, these companies have got to be more prepared. Get away, get the takeaway options, deliveries, different beers, if it's a brewery. And you can make money. I've seen Nottinghamshire companies make some good money during lockdown. So it can be done. It can be done. I don't know. I think Covid's going to ravage Af Africa last and then. That'll be interesting. But in Africa, they live further apart. They don't live for as long as the rest of us. No, no, they probably don't, Mr. Bolton. Yeah. Anyway, 
29 minutes. Wow, another long review. Jesus Christ. Um, this is only the third. I've got to do another yet. I'll believe it. I'll say to the wife, God, I couldn't get away tonight. Yakking all night. But you was there doing your cake, so I, I thought I could get away with it. Then I'll go up the house and get bollocking. <clears throat> um, amber looking poor, as I've already said. I will neck it now. Um, <sighs> citrus, malty. There's a hint of pine on the nose. I've totally forgot what was in the bloody on the can there. There's a hint of pine on the taste. Very much a hint of citrus. Basically, what was in the on the nose really? What dickheads releasing fireworks on this night? Twats. Um, another fucking firework. Muppets. Oh, there's some knobs about, isn't there? Hey, fucking 15 year olds who haven't grown up. Um, anyway, citrusy pour. Out of five, I thought it was a nice beer from Brixton Brewery. A uh, good addition to the Sainsbury's range. A nice, I wouldn't say it was a full on uh, craft beer. No, mate, I've not seen Five Points Best. No. No, I'm sure I've drank it before, though. I'm sure I've reviewed that one before. I've reviewed something from Five Points. Sure I have. Um, for me, a good craft beer that's more of a traditional than the craft. I know it's in a can, but it tastes more traditional for me. Shotguns in Arnold, yeah, yeah. Or a Bestwood. Uh, Bestwood's not far that way. Um, out of five for me, a good 4.1 out of five. Enjoyable taste, but very much in the traditional sector and and that's it for this review thank you everyone for watching commenting liking and subscribing thank you everyone in the background you know it's a great community the beer review community is a great community jumping on having a chat introducing yourselves and uh, you know it's all very good righty -o. right back in two minutes with the final review I'm already five minutes past my time, so, oh, thank you, matey. Ragster, hey. That's my internet name, <coughs> well, website name. But anyway, yeah, um, back in two minutes all, and uh, cheers. And I'm still quite sober, to be fair. I think I'm sobering up as I'm drinking. Hey, eh? try not to spill out as I'm... <laughs>